Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about types and parts of bracket, lug, support for a pressure vessel. Our flagship courses are Master Static Equipment Design and PVE Light, ASME Section 8 Division 2 and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Lug support, you already aware? This is one kind of lug support, okay? Which we also call it as bracket support, right? On which kind of equipment we provide this kind of support? Orientation wise, if I ask, which kind of vertical, right? And you also might be aware what types of support we have, what type of lug support, what are the variations of these supports? What are the different variations which we have with top plate? Yeah, so one is without any top plate, right? There will be a bottom plate or base plate. There will be gussets. Okay. Then there will be a pad plate. There is no top plate. Okay. That is the first type. Then we can have second type, which is with top plate. Okay. So the second type is with top plate. Okay. Third type with top ring, right? So top ring, bottom ring, and then gussets, right? These are the three variations which you will be seeing in the lug support. Okay. So now we have already discussed which kind of orientation you know, the vessel. It's very clear that vertical vessels will be using this kind of support. We cannot use it for horizontal. Can we use it for horizontal? Can there be any possibility of using this kind of support on a horizontal vessel? Anything you can think of? Yes, anything is possible. Believe me. Okay, It is possible. Can we draw something which uh, can... No? At least give you some idea that how it will decide. Let us see. This is a you know horizontal vessel. Okay. And I can have some extension. Like this can be my bracket support. And I can have some arrangement like this, which is supporting. Okay. So purpose may be a lot variation. Like no, you don't know how many processes are used. Okay. So maybe due to some reason they want to, they don't want to use saddle. Okay. Then it is possible. So everything is possible, but most practical or the common you'll see is for vertical vessel. Okay. So any recommendation you guys think of like depending upon diameter or height, what might be any limitation, like which kind of vessel it will be it is not recommended okay or mainly you will be seeing for those, those kind of vessels so these are the two limitations always remember that from 300 mm to 3000 okay so the limitation or the recommendation you can say okay this is not hard and fast limitation remember that this is not the limitation given by code. Okay. So this you can treat it as good engineering practice. Okay. That's all. You can go more than that, less than that. Okay. You now you just have to think that the design will be a little bit complicated because you are knowing, going to a non-recommended you know, vessel. Okay. So you have to consider it as a critical thing. So it's Bedner. You can refer Bedner bracket support. These are the limitations which are mentioned. Okay. So unless you have a good backup of recommendation, it is not a recommendation, right? Anybody can counter that. But if you have good backing, like, you know, it's Dennis Moss or Bedner, then at least you can say, yeah, I have something. You know? So great 300 to 3000. That is the typical dimension of diameter in which you can think of these kind of support okay the ratio maximum you can go up to five you should go preferably okay that is how we should say uh, you can design for even higher dimensions there is not a problem but you have to keep in mind that 
it might be a little bit more critical than the normal because bracket supports are not meant for that. Okay. Great. Now, somebody's uh, asked about thermal expansion. Okay. So, if I have a normal hole in this lug support, there will be a problem of thermal expansion, right? If I'm holding, see what is the best way to counter thermal stresses? Tell me, what is the best way to counter a thermal stress? Free to move. Let it expand. Okay, expansion, free. So if you make it free to expand, then it is taken care. Okay, so you can see the holes which are there in the support, they are slotted. Okay, so that it can readily expand. So if I'm allowing it to expand, there won't be any thermal stresses. Okay. Second arrangement, if you feel expansion is going to be really, really critical for you and you want to allow a proper expansion, because if the friction is very high, then you may not get the desired expansion, right? So you can make that surface more lubricated. Okay, You can see the bottom part. You can insert a lubricated plate. Okay, These are special kind of material which behave as a lubrication. So you can keep that plate just below your bracket support bottom plate and it will help uh, the bracket to you know, expand easily. Okay, So you'll have less mu. So if less, yeah, Teflon plate is also a good example of it. Right? So less friction means less force. Okay, So it will be free to expand. So that is how we take care of thermal stresses in lug support. Okay. Next parts of lug support, you all might be already aware, but just a quick recap because we are going to use these items. So to avoid confusion, let us name it. So bottom plate is called as base plate. Okay. That is what we'll be calling it today. Gusset plate, then reinforce reinforcement pad or RF pad okay second arrangement we have a top plate also okay then you have third arrangement where you will see a top ring okay and bottom ring instead of plate it is completely ring okay now when do you think instead of bracket you will go with ring can you think of any condition when you should go for ring instead of like what kind of problem you might be having so that you can go with distance okay anything else what because of what problem see bracket support if the load is high okay like uh, uh, operating with if it is very high you may have very high localized stresses at which point, guys, which point I'm talking about, where you will have very high localized stresses. Junction means basically if it if there is a pad, then we are talking about in the shell. Okay. So in the shell because of bracket. Okay. Because bracket, I can make much thicker, right? Based on whatever load is there, I can make it. But shell, I have limitation. I don't want to increase the thickness because of that. So in that case, if you feel there is a very high localized stresses, change it to ring construction. Okay. Then you don't have to do even local stress analysis. WRC is not required for ring case okay, because it's completely distributed among the circumference. So it's not localized now. Okay. So if you are facing any problem in WRC qualifying, you can go with the third option. Okay. For in-depth training. And to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.